Hi. Whoa, that's weird. OK, hi. I'm Sebastian. Um, I work at some web service agency called Dankwerk here in Germany. Most of you w won't know this one. Um, actually, I consider myself as the average JavaScript dev from the next door. So nothing special. Most people then from the internet know me as ASCII Disco, if they know me. And yeah, I actually love coffee and 80s movies and multicolored socks. So these are my favorites. Uh, I'm wearing them right now. And if you have any, any cool online, uh, online shops or something like this where I can buy socks that look like this, just give me a ping on Twitter, <laughs> please. <laughs> Thanks. Um, OK, now for sure. And I also love JavaScript. So yeah, a bit of history. Um, you may, this looks a bit weird, I know. But when I was a kid, like six or seven years old, I always imagined that later when I'm working in my working life, that I will be in some lab and actually looking like this every day and doing some weird stuff, building cool things. Um, yeah, but then I discovered JavaScript. And after a while, I thought, yeah, Actually, I'm doing exactly that, what I dreamt of when I was a kid. So like building all these crazy things here. And yeah, so let's start the actual talk. Um, I brought three kind of examples, things I build at home. Um, I just figured out the first one won't work because of some network issues, but I still tell you a bit about it. So actually. Um, I built something called the troll detector. So um, the actual quest was that I'm spotting the trolls here in the room that tweet bad stuff during the talk. Um, but yeah, oh, yes, come to that later. But yeah, due to some network issues, that won't work because the actual setup was you see this this lamp here, maybe, and this is attached to. Uh, uh, wireless power plug you can buy on Amazon. And um, this oh, it works if I turn it on here. No. Yeah. yeah. So you can see, OK, works manually. And um, I'm actually, this works through the Zigbee wireless protocol. This is some kind of open standard protocol. And I wrote a node library that you can. Um, that abstracts this protocol. This is not live yet because it's pretty unstable. And well, so you see it's not working yet. <laughs> so it's really unstable. And I will work a bit on it, and then I will release it. But yeah, um, Zigbee protocol is like a wireless communication protocol. And it's standardized and open protocol. So everybody can just like grab it and build stuff with it. Um, it works like Bluetooth, kind of. Um, six in communication channels can pull duplex and you can do async communication. Also, there are Arduino connectors. I'm currently working with the XP shields, but um, this is kind of hard to get around. Um, yeah, there are also like devices are standardized. So you can buy like these wireless power plugs on Amazon for like 20 euros or something, and then Use them with any environment you want that speaks the Zigbee protocol. And by the way, when, I'm, when I did this like kind of library abstraction, I just find, uh, thought that the guys who invented the protocol must be on crack or something, because this is so weird. You're sending like, packages with hex values around, and uh, I'm not good at math. And this really sucks when you're not good at math. So, um, I built this library that will be released somewhere in the future. Um, yeah, that I think it has some easy APIs, so you can just like discover the wireless controller that you will connect with your devices that you have. You can start a device discovery and actually like getting to know these both. Uh, so let the, the the wireless controller speak with the device and. Yeah, 
So the devices call will return all available devices. These have some common types, like this one will say, hi, I'm a binary switch. And the other one will, uh, and also it will say, like, hey, I have a status. Currently, I'm turned on. And then you will have some easy actions, like turning things on and off. So it, when it works, then it works with uh, these binary switch things only, but I will implement some more drivers soon when I release the library. OK, yeah, sad that I discovered that that won't work, because that would be a cool thing to show. But let's move on to another thing I brought here. Um, actually, uh -huh. I have a connect here. Um, these things I just tape here is not like common for the Kinect because when I arrived in Berlin on Friday, I just like set up everything in my hotel room to test if it works, and uh, the Kinect, uh, Kinect got a serial uh, got a serious damage during the flight, and so a Friday morning 3 a.m. or like Saturday morning 3 a.m. I just my last chance was to open it, and I only had a Swiss Army knife carrying with me, so I will never ever do that, do that again. Not in a hotel room, not at 3 o'clock in the morning, opening a Kinect. But it kind of worked after this surgery, and so hopefully this will work. So the quest is um, make Yoda proud of me. And actually, what I'm trying to do is let the Kinect recognize a gesture I'm doing. Then, Broad, the Kinect will give all its stream to this Windows PC, which has the Kinect SDK installed, and there's some library running, which will then broadcast some, uh, broadcast some WebSocket event, which I'm catching in a browser here on this computer. And this computer actually then will go and say, hey, Arduino, please just let this tin cans flip over. OK, and let's see if that one will work. Uh -huh. It's running. OK. So after this Kinect surgery, it worked like in 60% of the things I tried, so hopefully. So the, 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 by the way, the infrared sensor is gone. So uh, let's see. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah. Okay, um, maybe will someone come over and try his Jedi Force on the second one? Any volunteer? No? Ah, come on. Just come over. Um, just like try to position somewhere around here because the Kinect has some damage. You won't see yourself here normally. You would see yourself here. And um, it's kind of hard because no, you don't know what to do. But still, Stand here and try. Um, just give, just stay here for like two or three seconds, and I hope that this will work. Air, just do it a couple of times. Uh, huh. Thank you. Um, yeah, I, actually, I just like did something that was way cooler than this, like a shooting game. Um, so hopefully, like, if the internet works, uh huh. I did something in our user group uh, like a couple of months ago, and you see, 
actually you can really control this little red cursor inside of your browser window. And this is way more cool than what I showed here. And actually I had this cool example where you just like point on things and take your other hand and shoot and shoot. And when you hit the virtual tin can, it would just flip this one over. But damage connect and eh, failure. But hope you enjoyed it. Well, the other one too. Um, great. So let's see how that works. Um, OK, meet ConnectJS. ConnectJS is a library that some, I think, some guys from Norway built like half a year ago. Um, and this one's super cool. Also, it uses the Kinect SDK, so this is why I have this Windows laptop here. And um, it's a little program that runs on, uh, on this computer, which dispatches like the events via sockets and broadcasts them to the network. Um, also, they've built some neat client-side li JavaScript library, and it, which introduces new events. So you can do like add event listener, connect touch start to any DOM element, and then react on that. This is so cool. And you can set this up in like 15 to 20 minutes to do something in your browser. It can handle two players, actually. So uh, they also have a nice demo with a Pong game, two players, uh, two players playing against each other. And um, it also has some predefined gestures. One we saw there, the swipe gesture. And they also have something like a jump gesture when you jump up and down. And this is pretty, pretty cool. OK, for my next project that I call the Dancy Dancy, um, I need another volunteer out of the audience. Somebody is willing to dance in front of. Okay, m m maybe maybe you will you will trust me that nothing bad will happen if I just um, ruin my street credibility on my own and dance barefoot in the front of all of you. So let's try that. Um, yeah, well, that looks beautiful, or. Um, and I should turn on the audio. Okay, that sounds good. So, mm -hmm. looks like it's working. So, okay, I really never thought I would do this. But I'm doing it. Oh, by the way, the socks, I've I read them right now. <laughs> yeah, because these are my favorites at the moment. Um, for those behind uh, who don't see why I'm sitting here, there is some plates on the ground with foil. And I really can't believe that I'm doing this. So let's try. OK. And also, there's a pier lying here on the ground. When I touch it, it will start the game. OK, what's the first one? OK, let's screw that. Um, so. <laughs> as Put it back on, because I'm not Jake Archibald. OK, so now any volunteer? Any audience? Oh, come on, guys. One person dancing in front of all. So come over. Because here, yeah, I need to show that I'm not cheating or so. Huh? So it's always good to get someone of your audience. <laughs> Applause. Hi, what's your name? Ah, I'm Sebastian. So let's just get rid of your shoes and socks. <laughs> Actually, once enough, but OK. <laughs> OK, good. And go over here. Here's your keyboard. 
you need to take this in your hands and then touch the pier on the ground with your foot or with your hand. Okay, and play. So it was the right one. round. Success! We have a winner! <laughs> By the way, is that the right one? Yeah, some goodie pack for you. Thanks for coming over no and helping me out. Yeah, take this with you. I think you need it. Um, okay. What happened just here? Well, I don't know. Uh, for sure, I know. Um, does anyone of you have heard of this cool thing called Makey Makey? Okay. After this, you will just like directly order one on your own. So Makey Makey for me is the best damn thing since sliced bread. Um, it's like this little controller. Um, it actually was a Kickstarter project like three months ago. And this little controller, you can just plug, them, plug it in via USB, and it acts like a normal keyboard. So you get some alligator clips with it. And actually, that's the back of it. So you can map keyboard keys. So you see W, A, S, D, F. These are actually normal keyboard keys. You can just clip alligator clips in and connect it with everything that at least transports a bit of energy, like your skin or some foil or a pear, a banana. They actually built some really cool banana uh, keyboard. That is awesome. But um, it is a cheap trick. So as I told, it acts like a normal keyboard. Um, and you can just like grab it in your browser like normal with a normal event listener. And as I told you, any material that conducts at least a bit of energy will work. And you should really, really get one for your, on your own at home. OK. So unluckily, first example won't work. Maybe I'm showing that off later over there. Let's see. But you may ask yourself, why is this guy on stage showing us all this weird stuff? Connect and Arduino and blah. Um, actually, it all started after last year's JSConf EU. So we had this cool talks about the Coder Dojo and this really cool talk by Chris Williams, who uh, encouraged at least me to step up and do something like this talking. And also because in the company I'm working, there, um, we work together with some schools and universities, and they're like students uh, coming over, and we tell them what we do here. And before I discovered all this cool hardware stuff, there were like design students that came over and asked, "Yeah, you're a developer. Do a presentation on what you're doing." And I was like, "Oh, was yeah, I built this website, and you can buy flights with it." And Every one of them was like, oh, yeah, OK, this guy builds websites. Mm. But then um, I thought, OK, maybe the job as a developer needs a bit polish. And um, I started building those little things. So um, I built a couple of more, which I just like throw away after a time when I'm bored of it. and. Um, now I'm showing this all to the students and school kids who come over to our company and wanted to know what a developer does for me. And now I can say to them, okay, I'm a developer. I build keyboards. You can make music with your feet. And I can make you a real Jedi warrior knight, whatever they're called. And also I have some very little cousins, like beginning from the age of six or seven, I guess, yeah. And um, this, is, this is the stuff. If you want to get someone 
into programming or want to make somebody have fun doing starting with programming, that's the stuff you should show them. So, um, and also, if you're some kind of a CTO, CFO, run an own company that employs some developers, just buy them a couple of Arduinos, just buy them like a Kinect to play around or just make a makey thing and give them like two or three hours in a week, in a month maybe, to just and say, just go and play. So they will have more fun when they go to work because they can really do something and actually just building things with JavaScript is fun. So yeah, I guess that's it. A bit shorter because the first example was screwed. But first of all, thank you guys.